All right, so you guys came in. You're doing a fashion segment. So who's the most fashionable among the three of you? I'll let you each answer. Oh, wait, hold on. All right. We got, we got, you're not even answering here at all. Not even. All right, so why? Best? Uh, uh, every day he comes into the facility, you know, nice jogger pants, different pair of shoes every day. Uh, you know, nice shirt on to match the shoes he, got, he has on. You know, in, in, in his game day, nice suits, uh, home games, you know, nice put together outfits. So. He's the most fashionable and nice accessories to go with his outfit. But you said Jordan. Absolutely. Uh, can we focus here? <laughs> he actually <laughs> stole all the words out of my mouth. I, I think what he did was give you guys a brief explanation or a detail about himself and then use it against me. But really, he was just speaking up on himself. Oh As you can see right now, he have a, a nice, plush, high-end sweater on, matching J's to go, uh, white with the blue on them, sixes, everybody, true religion jeans, nice fashionable watch to match. Uh, we have the guy, watch. hey, this is a man right here. You want no fashion, holla at Mills. How come, though, you got stuck with the full suit Everybody else got to be more comfortable. Jordan, you had to come in, put on the full suit. It was raining outside, you know. It, that, you, it was a little extra work, I feel like, you had to go through. Uh, a little bit, you know. Uh, I had to come prepared, so I put on the suit. And unfortunately, I thought everybody else was going to have on the suit. So, uh, but, you know. you the man, though. I'm not the man. I am not the man. But Bass, he did not have on the suit. But he had on nice slacks, nice coat. Kohan shoes with a nice sweater with a nice you know fitted shirt to go under and look also uh business business looking like so don't don't get on me because i had on suit you were looking at, at as good i'm gonna put it this way simple said real recognize real they you know targeted us based on our apparel on a day-to-day -day basis corn liked to be comfortable so he came in with some nice brand new air jordans on with a matching hoodie uh, nice accessory go, you know, jeans just to throw it off. You know, color contrast at times. And then Mills, they figured he looked the best all the time, so hey, why not put him in the best? <laughs> all right, so here, here's a question for you guys. You guys, every single Sunday, you guys are out on the field, on TV, uh, millions of people out there watching you. You come in today, it's a little bit different. I mean, it's TV, but it's a little bit different. Were you nervous? Was it a different kind of nervous? What was, what was it like, you know, doing a segment like this, walking the runway almost? Very different thing than what you guys do on a normal Sunday. We'll start over. Uh, I feel like on the field, it's a, it's a whole lot different, you know, because when you're on the field, everybody's basically like sitting right on top of you, you know, so I feel like the pressure out there was a whole lot worse than me just coming in here and talking with y'all. I mean, I'm just having a conversation with you. It just happens to be a camera right there. You know? So no butterflies right before you had to come up and do the spin on the catwalk? Not really. I mean, I wanted to do that anyway, so, you know. <laughs> you know, it got to show the good sometimes. Oh a little advertising. <laughs> a little advertising, you know. Do you guys feel like you get a chance to uh, to show your personality the way that you guys do right now? Because, I mean, you guys were so, having so much fun out there. You were so comfortable. It, it's not necessarily the, the side of you guys that the fans get to see most of the time. I mean, did you enjoy the opportunity to get to do that? Yeah, it's always good getting out showing another side of us. Uh, a lot of the time, we're stereotyped just by being football players. And, uh, you know, it's a lot of good reputation for football players, and also it's a lot of bad reputation for football players. So when we get a chance to get in front of the camera and just act ourselves and have fun, you know, we're going to take advantage of it. So you don't think that the average fan thinks that a football player would have the sort of coordination in their wardrobe that you guys are bringing today? Uh, you know, uh, you never know what fans are thinking, but, uh, for, you know, what they think that all we do is uh, practice and bang each other, bang against each other every day and go at it every day. And all we do is eat, sleep and uh, breathe football, which we do. But we do have a, you know, more comfortable side, as you see, and, you know, a more, you know, laid back side and show off our fashion and just walk the wrong way, spend a little bit and uh, show our personalities off on, uh, on camera. All right. So I tried to change things up a little bit today. Usually. You know, we go with like the suit, the tie, and everything. Change it up a little bit. Did the corduroy? I don't know if it's too early for that though. It is getting a little chilly. Look sharp, man. You know what I'm yeah. And these days, it's all about you. You stay in your lane. Right. You create your own sweat. But but I did. I I brought a surprise though. I want to see what you guys think. All right. So, okay. check that out. Oh, is that we, we like that? Yes, I know. Like yeah, it. does that does that work? That's clean, right? There. Okay. Clean. All right. Yeah, uh, I needed a little bit of a surprise because I knew I couldn't hang with these guys just like straight up. So I had, I had to bring. Like you. Yeah? yeah. I love. Yeah. Socks. Okay. So I ain't All right. Yeah, I'm I'm glad that worked. All right. So I got a thumbs up for that. Um, 
you guys, you had a chance to come out and eat. What was the best part about this whole thing? Was it the food or the fashion? Go ahead. Uh, I like hanging out with the <laughs> hanging out with the ladies. You know, getting to sit on stage with them and just have a little bit of fun. I mean, the food was great too. Getting to eat the ribs from. Them. All right. So the food is a downboat number one. Go ahead. Uh, everything. Yeah. You are. You know, okay. it's good to get out here, hang with y'all, get in front of the camera a little bit, uh, interact with people, and let the fans see another side of us. Jordan, when you come in in a week, you guys had a big win on Sunday. Do you notice a difference around the city? You know, it seems like it seems like this city is a totally different place a week after a win and a week after a loss. Do you guys feel a different energy uh, after a big win like you guys had? Certainly, you know, is, uh, the city's a whole lot happier and that energy. We want to keep it going throughout the season, and we just don't want it to stop for one week. We want to keep it going and, and keep our fans happy and going and, and keep this going until you know end of the season on to the playoffs and hopefully get to Glendale, Arizona on February first. They'll they'll throw me out of here if I don't ask one football question. You guys. It was such a four-quarter game. You guys played so well on Sunday, and you've been searching for that—that that consistency that we've, you know, got to talk to you guys about. Do you feel like maybe there was a turn, in the, a corner that you guys turned this week, where, you know, it just looked like in all phases of the game things were really clicking for you guys? Whoever wants it. Uh, yeah, I think these past couple of weeks, especially us getting three losses early in the season, a sense of urgency picked up. So around how it's all our practices and meetings, we've been paying a lot of close attention to small detail because we noticed, you know, the efforts there, the talents there. We just got to put everything together and click at the small things. The small things, that's going to equal up to, you know, a win or a loss at the end of the game. So we knew it was at stake. We knew we needed to turn things around in order to reach our ultimate goal. So uh, the players just went out there and did their thing. I feel about the same as Bass does, does. You know, we finally got everything kind of, you know, flowing in, in all phases. So everything looked good on Sunday. And I feel like that's why we came out of the game with a win. Everything was nice. Everything was clicking. And, you know, it just ended up being a real good day for us. The protections were great. And you guys have had so many things changed around the offensive lineup. Yeah. Uh, did you guys feel like this was, uh, as far as the protection goes, maybe one of your best uh, performances of the season? Yeah, uh, I would have to say so. Um, you know, we, you know, we had some injuries. Injury bugs here and there with it happen to be uh, Sloss and Garza, which they are, are back, and then Bushrod being out, and then you know at the beginning of the season in training camp it was me and uh, Kyle, and then you know we had a mixture of different things, but the, the way that you know as a team coming together because it's the team first, and as a unit, all of us in that old line room and then practice how we grind together. So not when somebody comes down, somebody comes up, we we grind together and still have that collective effort. And and to protect Jay and Matt and Martellus and Brandon and Elshon, it, you know, it, it, you know, it, it just shows how strong of a team and how you know good of coaches we have. So they wanted me to ask you guys. So you had the barbecue today, but that's not the normal like pregame, you know, way you guys are, are getting yourself ready. What what it is it? What is it? The normal way that you guys kind of, you know, get fueled up for for practices, for games and stuff like that. You just try to carve up, you know, yeah. eat as carve much. Over <laughs> yeah, eat as much pasta and bread as you can. Really? As you can choke down. Is that hard? Man. I mean, it's yeah, to, it, to the average fan, that seems like that would be like Christmas. That'd be the greatest thing ever. But yeah, when you're doing it constantly, yeah, it's got to be difficult. All day, every day, it is yeah. hard. You know, it's hard to like choke down the same stuff every day, and then you got to eat so much of yeah. it. Is the thing? Because I mean, I only get hungry a couple times a day, just like the next average guy. You know, so it's it's hard to eat so much food. Make sure one thing: you listen to this at home. Don't go stuff down a bunch of carbs <laughs> if you got anything coming up. We eat a lot of carbs because we burn a lot of energy. Off, yeah. uh, another thing is hydration, water, body armor, things like that throughout the week just so we can be prepared to play a long game on Sunday. Awesome. Thank you, guys. I appreciate no it. Problem. Sticking around and helping us out. <clears throat> be us.